Last time. Oh, Jesus. We headed to a marina for our first engine service, and somehow along the way... There's a shopping trolley on our roof. Fantastic. This morning we've woken up at the marina, ready for our engine to get its annual service first thing, and then we can tick off another thing off our boating first list. Got the geese showing up for work. What time is it? 10 to 9. 10 to 9 there are. It's nice and early. I wonder if there'll be one straggler. Oh, there's one. Oh, wow, that's loads. Oh, God, yeah. Luckily the rain cleared up just in time to get our engine looked at. There she goes. It's really weird to see our boat like that with that one was on it. Yeah. The engine service was actually really interesting. We wanted to pay a professional to do the first one so they could do everything properly and we could watch and learn and ask many of our stupid questions in case we wanted to do it ourselves in the future so we'd kind of have a reference for the right way to do it. While we were waiting, we also got to see a boat craned out the water, which was terrifying to witness, but also kind of reassuring because you could see how much care everyone was taking to do it really slowly and everyone obviously knows what they're doing. So it kind of made me feel a lot better about the prospect of seeing our own boat dangle from a crane at some point in the next year when we have to take it out for blacking. But obviously at that point, I will be a nervous wreck. This is the swan watering can. We're gonna show. Do you like it? They don't seem that bothered. No. Look at it, it's uncanny. The likeness. What do you think? Uncanny. Don't seem that impressed to be honest. What about you? Do you like it? This one looks like it might attack it. It might attack it. I think it's another swan on the turf. I, I oh think... God, you're right. to uh, drop the trolley off at Dunchurch Pools but then I spoke to Jay on the phone and he said that he wasn't sure if he could pick it up from here so it's back on the roof and I'm going to try and take it to Braunston. Only thing is it's the uh, boat rally this weekend and because of that there is no mooring or our usual mooring spots are taken so we're going to have to go to the outskirts but we ride with the trolley on our roof. We've had an engine service, how do you feel? I feel like my engine is strong, powerful, filled with fresh oil, fresh filters. I feel fantastic. It's kind of amazing, wasn't it? He answered all of our questions. Yeah. So now we know exactly how to service our own yes. engine, which is brilliant. Not and only did we find the gearbox, but now we know how to dip it, which was pretty huge. It was really good because I think we might consider doing it next time ourselves but also they did a really good job so i'm really glad we didn't do it ourselves yes. this time we yes. learned how to do the basic one and yeah. i would definitely say i'm glad that we didn't try and just follow a youtube tutorial because yeah. normally i would try and follow a tutorial but he had a lot of little bits of knowledge which were really really let, really let good let me put the camera on you while you're talking also, we are both wearing Harry Styles t-shirts today, and that wasn't planned. It's just how um, and this is her t-shirt. How happy? Yeah, I they're both wanna... my t-shirts. I'm just borrowing. Um, okay. But we do kind of look like we're on the way on the way to a Harry Styles gig or something. But anyway, it's fine. Carry on. So we were happy that we didn't um, 
follow a YouTube tutorial yeah, this first time. Yeah, because there are lots time. of guides online, but because the layout of the engine is specific to you, there are some really stupid stuff like I would have um, tried to just pump it out directly from the pump, which is actually badly placed on ours, yeah. but the guy put a little hose on and pumped it out and it was much easier. I was very glad that yeah. even with some kind of like, you know, knowledge of how an engine works or whatever, having someone who knows the engine incredibly well was able to sort of look at it, work yeah. out the best strategy, and now we can follow that going forward. It was really good. Now we're on the move again. We're going to Braunston for uh, the historic boat show, boat rally, sorry. We know it's gonna be busy. I was down there uh, at my mum's a couple of days ago and it was packed and there aren't moorings because they've kind of reserved a lot of that space. So we're gonna moor outside, maybe with the first available opportunity for a good spot. There's lots of mooring spots along here. So we're gonna see somewhere, so we're in walking distance. I would like a very quiet mooring without anyone else around. But I think that might not be viable because I think there's going to be loads of other boats around all going to the rally, so we'll see. Lovely day now. It was horrible this morning. It was absolutely tipping it down. That's good. So around this next corner, we're hoping it's going to be mooring for us. This is where I have manifested, as would say. <laughs> Oh, well, where I'm trying to manifest uh, more. It's a little bit outside of Bronson, but it's close enough you can easily walk in. And uh, yeah. There's always room for us. Manifestation. There's always room for Land's End. And there will be this time. The spot that we were thinking of was free, so we are exactly where we wanted to be. Manifestation. Manifestation. It's a real thing. Okay. Done. Sorted. I'm here now. It's nice. We're all missing Broadstone. I think I got stung by something. The tow path is uh, quite overgrown here. <laughs> so dramatic. to get you some like knee-high socks wear with your shorts the person over there was reading a book called Canal Pushers Just fall into a hole, yes, yes. The calm before the storm, Braunston's Glastonbury. Here's the uh, spot on the bridge where the plaque used to be. And where it'll be returned to once we're done here. The best bar none. Good name. They had to 
go back to their life, their life being like a woman today. This, I believe, is what's happening over there. A woman's story of the boatman's strike. It's part of the commemoration of the 100 year anniversary of Brunton's boatman's strike. There's a duck here that was going ape shit and we were like, what's going on with it? Has it lost its chick or something? There's a chick inside the lock. The chick is inside the lock. We're gonna open the gate and we're gonna try and let it out. Andrew's opening the gate and we're gonna try and hustle the chick over to it. Come on, mate. Go on, mate, go to the left. There you go. Left. Yeah, come on, yes, come on. Okay, the mum has arrived. She's gonna escort the little guy. Come on, oh my God, they know. They actually know. She's literally escorting him out of the gate. Okay, this is amazing. Look, there's the open gate. Guys. Here they come. They've made it out. Mother and child are reunited. Thank God. Good work. She was so stressed. She was really stressed. She did the right thing. She got help. Hey guys. Good luck. Look after that one. Jeez, you've only got one left. There's not really footage of this portion of the evening, but we took a shortcut on a public path through a field of cows who started to head towards us in, I would say, a menacing manner, freaked us out, and long story short, I touched an electric fence with my hand. Oh, fuck, it is electric. Oh, shit, is it? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fine. <laughs> through the winter which often felt endless I imagined what summer would be like sitting on top of the boat reading novels and drinking rosé that kind of thing other people would also contribute though often quite negatively you thought winter was bad wait until you're baking in a steel tube all summer but our summer so far was mild wet it never got uncomfortably warm but as the months passed on the boat, I learned that each of the seasons have their own charm and beauty. Though the long days and the golden sunsets were pretty special in summer.
I still have not ever sat on the roof with a novel and a glass of rosé, so that's one for 2024. Hey guys, good to see you still thriving. Let's keep it that way, stay out of the locks. That's definitely that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Who else would only have one chick left? It's definitely them. And you're like, wow, their boat is so beautiful and shiny. It's constant cleaning. Yeah. Like the only way to have one of those boats that people say, oh, lovely boat, when they go by, it's constant washing and polishing and waxing. Because look, this is like a week and it looks awful. Shocking. They're going really slowly. Down. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think, I think you should do it from the ground. Are we good? Okay. You're not going to jump with it. Think of your ankles. I'm going to lower it gently, I think. Okay, yeah, that's a, little, a good, that's a good call. It's a little tricky. It's your workout for the day. And she's back on solid ground. Goodbye, trolley. <laughs> you got a wheeler over there yet? An undignified wheel. Would you say that's a job well done? Would you say that was a fulfilling experience? Another item saved from the canal. AJ, me again, it's dropped off. I'll reserve you a bottle of wine for the, the entertainment. Aww. Oh, no way. Thank you so much. All right, we'll see you soon. Another job well done. Okay, will we find a mooring? Goodbye, shopping trolley. We'll see you again. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to say goodbye. Exactly. Goodbye, He'll be back trolley. to work soon. He's had a little bit of a holiday now. We hope he's not too shocked by his dunk in the canal. He might need therapy. Intensive therapy to get through the trauma of that. But apart from that, he's fine. Walk it off. Wheel it off. Wheel it off. We'll probably see him again here. So we've just been up to my mum's house and uh, she's found this, which is the old Raymond tiller peg. So that is the original one that my parents um, would have, and, uh, and granddad would have used. So we're gonna see 
can fit that in our boat. I think it looks a little bit thick, but... I think it might need to be adjusted at the bottom. Yeah, but I'm sure someone will be able to uh, help us with that. No, it doesn't. I didn't think so, but I'm sure we can uh, do something with that. Maybe uh, rather than change the ancient uh, and historical tiller yeah, peg, we can drill, drill this. That? Yeah. Someone could probably drill this a little bit deeper. Yeah. So the tiller pin, the tiller handle, would have stayed with the boatman. Yeah, because people would steal them. I think we actually, literally, it's so funny timing. We went someone past someone today. today. They said they had their tiller stolen. Yeah. So, but yeah, they would have all just taken them off because they were obviously quite a, a precious yeah. item. So it's really cool to, to have that. Super cool, amazing. Oh. He's a true legend. He'll escort you every single night. Look at this, look at this. Every time we come here, he's like, I got this. Turbo speed. Strawberry is so strong. It's our friend. He's so tough. Where do you live, mate? Do you want to go back home? Probably around here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, look at this. I've never felt more safe and secure than when this cat is escorting me. He always does such a good es escort as well. Yeah. It's really impressive. Like, we've got this. Yes, mate. Come on. Absolutely brilliant job. Yeah, then he'll stay behind maybe for a second. And then he'll, and then jog he'll get up. to his boundary and then he'll be like, that's me done. They're out of my on. turf. Yeah. <laughs> I've done my job. What a cat. Ginger cats, man. Different breed. There he is. A normal cat would be like, look, it's raining. I'm going in. Ginger cats, mad lads. Has he stopped? Still coming. Slowing down there. <laughs> no, today we might be done. It's really raining. I literally cannot see a thing. I feel like I've got some kind of fog filter on. Like if you'd ask me, like, can you see anything? I'd be like, no. It's that weird, really tiny rain. You know, it's like it's it's so fine, but we're absolutely yeah. soaked. Okay, so we're back to the boat. Godspeed. Went for a drink. The tap ran out halfway through the cider, so they've given us a free cider, so. Two of the pubs that we went to were closed. Even though Google said they were open. We love the countryside. Okay. Oh, it smells like steak in here. It really smells like steak. Are your glasses really steamed up? Oh yeah, I can't see a thing. <laughs> Look at my glasses. Yours aren't that bad. Oh, like, yours are very steep. It was, up, it's yeah. literally, they're like Hold opaque. The camera. That's hilarious. Can't see anything. Yeah. That's why I was like walking Did along as if I was half blind. Okay. Won't jump off onto the edge yeah. and that up. Oh, for the love of God. Look, don't go backwards, absolute little fool. Come on. Sometimes I think this cat is a genius, and other times I think she's an idiot. So we're leaving 
this uh, two day mooring and uh, you're going to do the turn right Bronson? is going to do the turn! Serena. Slightly scared actually because as with all things I'm slightly scared. I mean I've seen some professionals take this turn really badly because there's rocks so turn into it. Go further down than you think, try and reverse out. Get the pivot a thrust, little bit thrust, further thrust. than I've done it before. Yeah? Have you been doing it early? Yeah, the first time I did it, I kind of left it. I, w I went in too early. The other times I've done it pretty decently well. The second time I did You've it, done it very well. The second time I did it really, really well. Don't want to go through the locks just quickly. Just dash through them. Just boop through the tunnel, 8.30 pm. Smash it out. No, we've got a plan. We've got a plan. We're going to stick to the plan. later than you you turn in later than you think now? a little bit later i would say i would start thinking about it now yeah because you want to miss this corner remember yeah. that's where the rocks are so you're don't go too hard don't go too hard slow down uh, by all means slow down yeah. Yeah. okay fine so yeah turn in that case give it some welly and get around You're... What? Are we going to hit it now? Yeah, I think so. Reverse, 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 reverse. Okay. Why not hit the other side? Okay, we turned. We turned. There were a few bumps, but it wasn't terrible. You called terrible. them nasty bumps. Don't lie to the people. You said there was a few nasty bumps. There were two where I think we just... You missed going down to turn around, basically. Yeah. But, so it's like you wanted to go down into the thing to give you maximum God length. Long. It's like, how do you... But that, that's how you get this one, or I'd get this one done, by utilising that length to then pivot around. Because yeah. otherwise... I couldn't turn into it properly. Oh, yeah. I was struggling with turning yeah. in. So maybe I should have just taken it slower yes. and tried to line exactly. up you should that have... angle better. Well, well, we're here. The long and short of it is we turned around. So. It's a contact it's sport. It's a contact sport! <laughs> I've literally I've never heard anyone say that before. <laughs> but I've clung to it like a lifeline. It's a contact sport. That's why I just keep telling myself and everyone else. Maybe people that um, aren't very good at driving their boats tell people that and hope everyone else believes it. I believe it. 